Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Frostpunk. I know I have been away for quite a while, and once we get ourselves reorgan um, reorientated within the game, I will let you know what is up and what has been going on. So, I, uh, I may have kind of, maybe, possibly, um, reset my PC to try and solve an issue, which it turned out didn't solve it because it wasn't actually the OS causing the issue so that's a fun thing um, and in doing so I lost my um, steampunk save because I was an idiot and I didn't back it up to the cloud so rip me so it is now backed up to the cloud <laughs> but in doing so I pretty much had to um, have my old steampunk videos going on one screen and uh, this game going on another so that I could try my best to kind of uh, Replicate what happened in the series now I did end up actually doing slightly better in this game than I did in the YouTube videos So I'm even though I'm on day nine. I'm pretty much on the um, I Made the progress that I made on day nine in the original series on day eight so we're kind of we stepped one one day ahead of ourselves and now we've just kind of stopped so that the game can catch up and we're in as much of a disaster as we were before um so my limit at the moment is really really badly food but i think the yep these guys are bringing back some food so that will help that um we've got hunter's hut going left right and center i think we've got three of them don't we yep we have three of them and overall apart from food we're not doing too bad we are not doing too bad now we definitely need to build the steel works because we're running out of steel and we need steel for the um the better houses which we want to build because we're about to go down in temperature the question is what do we want to research next i mean ideally we'd go for the hot house but in reality the hot house is i've tried to use it before and it's crap. It's absolutely terrible. I'm kind of tempted to go for drafting machines. That's quite expensive, but I'm kind of tempted to do that. So we can get an infirmary instead of a medical post. Yeah, let's work. Let's get this steel works be, um, built up. How much do we need for that? 75 wood, 25 steel. The wood we can get easily because we have our wall drill rocking and rolling. The steel will come in once we have those guys up and running. Do you want to just go and take that off for the time being just to get rid of it we have various coal supplies left that we're not going to use because we now have unlimited from this guy and we're pretty much maxed out anyway uh so we're not going to have an issue with that it's just food it's just food that we're having an issue with nothing else these guys will be back in a few hours anyway so that will solve that problem so Basically, I have been mega, 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 mega busy with a new job and I just have not had any time to do anything, let alone YouTube recordings. I've had to put even hobbies on the back burner to uh, just get this job done for a few weeks. Um, but now that it is done, fingers crossed, I can get back more into uh, to making some content. However, while I was doing that job, I, uh, I thought to myself, Oh yeah, we built the fighting arena, didn't we, as well? I forgot about that. Um, while I was doing that job, I kind of thought to myself, you know, what am I actually doing on YouTube these days? You know, why why am I still doing YouTube? Because it's not for the same reason that I was doing YouTube in the first place. The reason I was doing YouTube in the first place was because I enjoyed making videos. Simple as that. And I was really getting to a point, probably in the last six months to a year of my channel, where... I'm more making videos for the sake of making videos rather than making videos because I enjoy making videos. And I realise that's because I'm doing stuff that I think people will enjoy rather than doing stuff that I'm enjoying. And I seem to have made this mistake more than once. <laughs> if I look back through my channel, I seem to start playing some games that I really enjoy and then I kind of play a popular game even though I don't enjoy it and it doesn't do particularly well either. So. We're going to completely slice the head off of that entire idea and from here on out I'm not going to have a schedule, I'm only going to put videos up when they're ready 
um, hopefully I can get pretty soon over the 500 subscriber mark because if I can do that it opens up the community tab page and I can let you know what's going on of course I have my Twitter and my discord but to be honest with you I feel like Twitter and discord are kind of just a bit too far away from YouTube I really like that community page because it's literally there if you're subscribed to the channel you will it's like two tabs over it's like it's no effort whatsoever oh were they oh they weren't coming back they were going to the observatory okay yeah why not let's bring him back let's bring him back I got we don't have anywhere else we need to go they're gonna have to go to the steel bridge next to get the uh, is it the automatic automatrix automatrix the robot whatever the robots called <laughs> the big four-legged beast whatever that's called they're going to get that next uh, so yeah I am purely gonna be making content of games that I enjoy I don't know what that will be yet obviously it'll be Frostpunk because I love playing Frostpunk there's a game that's come out recently called Stray which is about a cat if you haven't seen it I've, I've actually been really looking forward to that <laughs> um, there's a whole bunch of indie games that are coming out uh, between like middle of this year to early next year so when they come out I'm gonna hit them up as well um, but for once in my life I'm actually gonna ask people to subscribe if they enjoy my channel because I want to get to that 500 subscriber mark to get to get that community page because I think that's gonna be a lot more effective than posting information on my social medias don't get me wrong I love posting um, I love posting my uploads onto discord onto my steam page onto my Twitter etc 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 but when there's a YouTube community page literally right there the other things just don't get don't get the reach that a YouTube community page does so my target now is 500 subscribers get that YouTube community page up um, and give you more regular updates on what I'm doing in terms of content in terms of games that is what we're doing obviously with Austria kind of out of the window at the moment for various reasons the um, developer being of a certain Eastern European country which will not be named because YouTube hates that name at the moment <laughs> um, things are delayed now they have said on their blog that uh, Alpha 5 is on its way but don't expect it anytime soon so I'm kind of expecting it kind of November December maybe even to early next year as such I am currently looking for other city builders I was going to do city skylines however I don't have all the DLC for that and a lot of the DLC is quite expensive so uh, yeah I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna be doing on that one You know, maybe we should have done the... Maybe we should have done the heaters research. Oh no, we were going to do the steam hub, weren't we? Because we did the math to work out that it was more effective. Three coal and one coal. So if we can place that over more than three buildings, it effectively makes the heaters pointless. I think it's going to be a while till we can get the steel that we need to, for the drafting machine. So let's just do the steam hub. I know it's taking steel as well, but the steel mill is going to be up and running. I, I think we'll I think we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Uh, we are now going to need to make more housing, though. Take the engineers off of that and off engineers off of that because they're going to be pointless. And they're not going to be used. My fighting pit going? No, it opens at 1900. Way, way, way far away. Wow. Okay, that's a... Uh, yep. That's a lot. Right, I'm going to send you out to there because that's the only place I can send you to. I don't know how long we're going to go for. Uh, according to up to 10 minutes at the moment, obviously things get cut out of that. And uh, the way I do the way I do YouTube videos is like if the, normally I don't really do uncut videos anymore just because there is a bunch of boring stuff and a bunch of waiting around that happens in pretty much every single game. So I do just cut from action to action and give you a bit of... Um, situational awareness when I think you need it but overall I don't really do uncut videos anymore because I don't think there's a point to them I really don't think there's a point to them right what's our apart from the stick wow wow we're full-on trees holy crap okay can we build ah okay yeah we really should have done our heaters right the steam tub's done wonderful let's do that upgrade and then we'll do that and 
we don't have enough for that. That's fine. So that's maxed out. What's the, uh, we can build like a, maybe we haven't unlocked it. I swear you can build like the, um, oh, the resource depot. Okay. So we need to go through faster gathering. Okay. I think we've kind of jumped the gun on that. Whoops. My bad. Maybe we haven't unlocked it. Are you stupid or something? Yeah, I think we've kind of jumped the gun a little bit on that. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so that's the thing. Right, so we have more than enough wood. Uh, we need steel for the extended houses, don't we? Bunk houses, yes, 10 steel, so we can put one in. Um, what's the temperature gauge on people? Not awful. But not good either. Right, let's. Is that still. To... Oh, because they haven't built it yet. Uh, idiot. Uh, what was that that just came up? I thought I heard a notification come up. Well, oh, maybe not. That is quite a restriction on only, what, like 250 wood? That is quite a restriction. Holy crap. Uh, we are actually going to need to build houses. Because we're. We don't have enough uh, housing for people. Do you know what? I'm really surprised. Maybe they've changed it in an update. But I swear that the bunkhouse used to hold more people than the tents. I swear it did. Regardless, we're going to have to put some more tents down. Otherwise, we're going to have people um, freezing to death. Actually, I'm going to directly put a bunkhouse down. Because it's going to be cold out there. So the, the food will be fine. That will start working once the uh, steam hub is in action. We've got more than enough coal to do that. I am going to start putting people back on coal just so that we don't let it fall too much. And we'll put people back on the wall drill because we don't want to let it fall again too much. Steam is going full power. Okay, it's not awful. It's not amazing, but it's not awful. And I think we can slowly start giving people better housing over there. We have more than enough to be able to build them, so that's not an issue. I think we have, yeah, 30 spare. <laughs> We've got more than enough people to build them. More than enough. Right, I still want to get rid of that. End of shift. Go rest all who can. Right, so that will be everyone building, so that's perfect. Cookhouse is working. Hunter's hut are going perfect. We're still a little bit it on food. Oh, jeez, it's closed. Oh. That's an issue. I kind of, I kind of don't have a choice. Well, none of them are starving yet. <laughs> I say that as if it's a pro. <laughs> none of them are starving yet. Some of them don't have housing, but that's fine. They will have housing momentarily. Do you know what? I think we can wait till tomorrow. I think we can wait till tomorrow. Uh, what's the dueling law? Disagreements. I don't... <laughs> I know people have disagreements, but we can talk it out. We don't need to... I think people would rather have a public house. You know? Everyone likes a good drink after a day. After a hard day's work. Yeah, let's... Let's do the public house. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Exactly. Let's get that built. We're out of steel. Yes, I know. It's fine. We'll, we'll have more tomorrow. Okay, still zero, zero so starving. That's fine. You know, I don't think we can actually do much until tomorrow. How's the fighting pit going? Jeez. Tons of spectators as well. Nice. Cold at home, people are hungry. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. We're going to fail that. I shouldn't have done that. That was a really stupid idea. We're going to fail that. That's inoperable because it's too cold. Yeah, it's a problem. Oh, people are getting sick because they're getting hungry. Ah, oh, crap. Not good. That'll open up in a minute. Yeah, there we go. There we go. 
Oh, wowza. That was, uh... That was a close one. We need to do a steam hub as soon as that gets 20 steel. To keep everything around here warm. We have more than enough coal. Right, that covers a crap ton of buildings, way more efficient than the individual heaters. We're only using three coal to cover like multiple houses instead of one coal for each building. Much, much, much more efficient. Wait, really? We actually did it? <laughs> How did we manage that? How did we manage that? Oh my god. How the hell did we manage that one? I thought we needed to feed everyone and then stack up a few days worth. Well, I guess we did. Holy crap. Okay, fair enough. I'm guessing when these guys get to the bridge, this is going to unlock a, um, a ton of things over here as well. Wow. <laughs> Damn, son. Nice one. I, re I, I genuinely was expecting to lose that. That is awesome. That's really, really awesome. Right. What can we do on research? Because I think we, know, we need to start stocking up on things. We need to start... Um, yeah, we need to start stocking up on things. Um... I think I might do that just to get the infirmary. I'm not... I kind of want to get flying hunters as well. Do you know what I'm going to do? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do... I'm going to do that to get the infirmary. That to get the flying hunters. And... We've got to start doing uh, resource depots. Actually, how are the medical situations? Medical situation is going down. So what we'll do is do the resource depot chain first and I'm going to build another workshop just so that we can get the uh, research going faster. Gee, how, how expensive are they? They're only five. Oh my god, they're like nothing. And we have 17, we have 17 engineers free and each takes five. Oh, let's do that because that will speed up research tenfold. <laughs> I can't believe we, we've inadvertently saved ourselves because I kind of understood uh, understood one of these events wrong. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Scouts have reached the bridge to winter home. The settlement. Yes. Automaton. Send it to the city 110%. What have we revealed? Weather station and large convoy. Okay. 16 hours and 13 hours. I would imagine that the large convoy is going to have people. And I can't believe I'm saying this in Frostbank, but currently I do not need people. I have a lot of people. <laughs> and I'm struggling to feed them as it is. So I'm going to send you to a weather station with the hope that there's tech there and not people. I mean, for... For all I can remember, there might be people at the weather station and the people at the um, large convoy might be frozen. But, at the moment, not willing to take the risk. Yeah, I really don't want to go House of Pleasure because it has more negatives. It, it's fine short term, but long term it has more negatives than it does positives. We're starting to get to the issues now we don't need to do that we don't need to do that quite yet i think honestly i think the best decision at the moment is moonshine in s we i suppose they could learn i don't really i don't really want to be putting kids around medical situations it's not right for them but they could learn that would be yeah i think that's a good decision quite frankly i think kids can learn while they're in the workplace. The workplace is the best place to learn. Honestly. <laughs> I would say I learned more in the first, like, year or so out of school than I did in, like, the 
10 years or whatever, how many years I was in school. 110% I learnt more. Right, let's speed all of this up. Look at that, only two hours to go. So it only takes four hours now for a research to go through. So technically we can do two per day, in theory, I think, if we time them right. And the temperature is about to go back up again. Awesome. Damn, son. Right, 35 coal. Let's, uh, no, 35 steel, sorry. Let's get these outlier houses built up into bunk houses so that you can keep warm. Even though we're going to have a high, even though we're only going to have minus 30 for a few days. <laughs> it's going to be better than what we have at the moment. Awesome. Well, I'm actually really enjoying playing this. I forgot how much fun it was to play Frostpunk. We are at nearly at the half an hour mark, so hopefully I can cut this down to make a, maybe a 20 minute-ish video. I think we've played for, what, about three days, going into day four now. So, ladies and gents, as always, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support. If you are enjoying my channel, are enjoying my content, do please hit that subscribe button and that like button. It helps YouTube to know that you like my stuff and I'm not just a dead channel like I have been for the past three weeks. Don't, don't comment on that. <laughs> And I will see you in the next one.